Happy September. It's actually my birthday month. Wait, birth month? Birthday. Redo. Happy September. It's Virgo season and actually this is my birthday month. I'm a Virgo. My birthday is September 21st. So for this September TBR, I did little prompts that kind of have to do with me or my birthday. I just really like to do fun themed prompts every month. So like for July, I did like little sunshines and I did a lot of summer prompts. This time I did little balloons, birthday balloons, and I made them kind of for the theme of September and like my birthday. It just makes it more fun for me, I think. So I have 10 prompts in here and I'm going to pick six. Yeah, I feel like six is good because whenever I do more than six, I think I'm reaching a little too far and I never finish it. So we're going to do six and we're going to pick some good books this month. I haven't done this in a while because I've been just mood reading a lot, but I've kind of missed having a TBR and having like a set selection of books to read. So I'm excited for this and I hope you guys are too. So let's just start and pick our first prompt. <gasps> I wish I had this at the end, but we get a free choice for the first one. Also, I cut these terribly, so just don't mind that I got lazy. So, ugh, I really wish I got this at the end because like, I don't know where we could go from here, but what am I in the mood for? It's like fall to me, it's fall, so. I kind of want a fall book, but I know there's some fall themed prompts in here. Okay, we have two choices. It's either going to be Caraval, which I've been wanting to read for a while, but I've been waiting for the fall specifically because I just feel like this book screams fall. I'm a very much mood reader in that way. Like I literally wait for the perfect moment to read a book and I've been waiting to read this one. My mom read it. She said it's amazing. And I really want to read the Once Upon a Broken Heart trilogy, but you need to read this first, or at least that's like what's recommended. So I'm gonna read this first, but it's either gonna be this for this choice or yours from the tower, which I got while I was in London. And this just looks like such a cozy fall read. It's, I, when I read it, I was like, it kind of feels similar to like the sisterhood of the traveling pants, but I don't remember why I thought that. I don't really know why I thought it was like the sisterhood of the traveling pants because it's literally just three women who write letters to each other. But I kind of want to go with Carval. Like, I... <sighs> yeah, I'm just going to do it. I don't know why I'm trying to make it a hard decision on myself. I clearly want Carval, so I'm just going to pick it. And I'm so excited to start this. Hopefully, I actually do, because I've put it on my TBR before, and I haven't started it. But, like I said, I've been waiting for fall. Would this be better in October, though? <laughs> See, this is, like, my problem. I, like, pick... I wait for the perfect time and if you keep waiting it's never going to come so actually I'm just going to put this on my TBR if we get to it great if not we always have October okay free choice one done the next prompt should have more of a I don't know guideline okay oh I picked two so okay oh I picked three apparently oh a classic Okay, well, I only have one on my TBR, unless I'm missing something. I think I only have one. So I guess that makes that choice easy. I'm pretty sure that Little Woman is the only classic I have on my TBR. There's no way there's another classic and I'm missing it. I don't think Lord of the Flies is a classic, but is it? Like, I don't actually know. If it is, I'm sorry, but I'm going to pick Little Woman either way. I've been wanting to read this again, been waiting for fall. And I really, really, really want to watch the movie. I've never seen it. I don't know how. I haven't, like, had any spoilers or anything. I just think this will change my life. And I'm going to make it my entire personality. So, and again, this is our only option. So, if this is going on the TBR. But I'm excited about that. I've been wanting to read it. Next, we have a book that, wait, a, wait. <laughs> a book with a title that starts with S for September. So, we probably have a lot, and I'm not seeing any. Do I not? There's no way I don't have an S. Why am I struggling to find an S title? Okay, well, we only have two options somehow. I don't know. I guess I thought I had, I thought I would have more with S's, but I'm also only picking ones that I'm, like, interested in reading at the moment, so that could be why, but I really don't have that many books that start with S that I haven't read. A lot of books start with the, so. And I was like, I could just skip the the and just look at the, but I was like, no, we're just gonna be, oh, literally, I forgot to put this book back. Oh, it doesn't start with the S, so. 
I can't even do that anyways. So our options are Sisters of Sword and Song, which I don't know anything about, but I know who writes it or wrote it. And it's Rebecca Ross who wrote Divine Rivals. I don't like to read the back though. Honestly, like I like to just go in blind. I know this is a fantasy. Maybe I should read a little bit. This is interesting. So it's about two sisters where one of which has been serving in the queen's army, but she comes back a day early and her sister, Ava, immediately knows something is wrong. How, I don't know how to say this one sister's name. How Kion is on the run after being charged with murder. And that's all I'm gonna read because I like to go in blind. So that's intriguing. And then we also have Six of Crows as an option. <sighs> this book intimidates me and I don't know why. Like I've heard only so many great things about this. Should I just put it on? Like, I'm kind of tempted to just put it on my TBR. Okay, this one sounds very intriguing. It's giving, like, kind of like the Atlas Six with, like, six people. I guess Six of Crows, would, that would make sense. And there's a heist. And that sounds interesting. So, I'm actually going to put this on my TBR. I'm excited. I would not have pictured me putting this on my TBR this month, but that's what we get. And I'm excited, actually, so. All right. Ooh. A book with a redhead main character. So this can be any main character. It doesn't have to be the main character. But it has to be like pretty main for me to be able to tell just by like what I've heard about the book. Like it can't be like a random side character because I wouldn't know that. So this one might be a little bit tricky. I might have to do some searching. But I'm going to look at my shelves. Oh, I could do the selection but I've already read it and I don't really want to reread it right now. I could read Harry Potter because Ron has red hair and Jenny and his whole family, but hmm. Do I want to start Harry Potter now or do I want to start it in October? That's the question. Well, my other option, just based off the cover, I'm hoping she has red hair, is Daughter of the Pirate King. I mean, she has red hair on the cover, so I would assume. Hmm. I don't know. I kind of am feeling Harry Potter. Let me grab the first book. I don't even know what it's called. Sorry, I'm a fake fan. I haven't read them yet though, so can't blame me. Ugh, these covers are so pretty. My sister got me this series for Christmas last year, so I really need to read them, but I told her I was gonna wait for fall to start them. So I feel like I should start it because I'm gonna take my time with this series. I'm gonna read like two a month maybe because I want it to go like through December and I wanna watch all the movies as well. So like read the book, watch the movie. I plan on filming that whole experience but it will take me a few months for that video to come out but maybe i should start now maybe this this is perfect to just put this one on my tbr now that way i can get a head start Ooh, that feels fun harry potter and the sorcerer's stone okay i remember now i've seen the movies before so like i know but i've never read the book so i i just need to for like myself and i just need to understand like i've heard some things like i've heard they do my girl Jenny bad in the movies and I want to, I want to know her. So, okay. I think we'll start with this. Oh, the font is so nice. All right. Harry Potter. This is so fun. I'm so obsessed with this TBR. It's small too, so I can read that quick. Okay. Next. We have a book published in September. We're going to have to do research on that one. Let's just see what I want to read and then see if it's published in September. Maybe Magnolia Parks. Doesn't really match the vibe of this, but we could switch it up. July. Ugh. So upsetting. I don't want any summer. I don't want any cutesy romance. So maybe this shelf. I'm just going to go down this whole shelf and hope for the best. September. <gasps> okay, we found one. I don't feel like looking anymore, so... I don't really feel like searching through all of my books, but we did find one, at least. I didn't really look at the rest of them. Since I've already found one, I was like, okay. We found One Dark Window. This was published in September. I forget the year. 2022. To the quiet girls with stories in their heads, to their dreams and their nightmares. <sighs> wow. I don't really know much about this book either, but like I said, I do like to go in blind. I just know like at one point this was really hyped on TikTok and it was like around the time Fourth Wing was hyped up too and people were saying that some people liked this better than Fourth Wing and so that intrigued me and I was like, well, I need to know what's in here if people are liking it more than one of my favorite books ever. So I'm excited for this. Again, I'm still like kind of relatively new to fantasy 
I'm still dipping my toes in, but this fall I was like, I'm going to just read a lot of fantasy because every time I read a fantasy, I like it. So I'm hoping I'll like this one. I just don't know what to expect. All these names I never know how to pronounce in a fantasy book, so I'm just going to say our main girl. Needs more than luck to stay safe in the eerie, mist-locked kingdom of Blunder. She needs a monster. She calls him the Nightmare, an ancient merciful... Nope. Mercurial spirit trapped in her head. He protects her, he keeps her secrets, but nothing comes for free, especially magic. When the main character's name meets a mysterious highwayman on the forest road, her life takes a drastic turn. Thrust into a world of shadow and deception, she joins a dangerous quest to cure blunder of the dark magic infecting it. Except the highwayman just so happens to be the king's own nephew, captain of the most dangerous men in blunder and guilty of high treason. Okay, so this seems like a book that's going to confuse me and take me a minute to get into it, but I'm excited and hopefully I'll like it because it's going on the TBR. Okay, only one more, so hopefully it's a good one to end off on. Let's see. A book from the UK. Okay, we have plenty of options. We could do yours from the tower that I wanted to do earlier. Oh, we could do the Pumpkin Spice Cafe. Look at this cover. It's so fall. I love it. Um, we have a lot of options. I just don't feel like grabbing them all. A Study in Drowning. Oh, so many good choices. Okay, these are like my top three, so we need to choose. A Study in Drowning. Look at these sprayed edges. The Pumpkin Spice Cafe so fall and then the yours from the tower again look at the sprayed edges so pretty ah oh, choices i don't know i feel like we have a lot of fantasy going on over here so this says it's an endlessly readable mix of historical fiction gothic mystery and fantasy romance that will draw you in again and again that sounds beautiful for this time of year could also be great for october so i don't know I just am so excited to read this, but I feel like I have to wait for the perfect moment. Like, look at this book. It's perfect. I think I'm going to hold off. Maybe. I could still read it this month if I wanted to, but I think I might put yours from the tower on there. Actually, I don't know. Do I want this one? Like, I kind of do. I'm kind of being drawn back to it. So I think we'll put this one on the TBR as soon as I take off this sticker. Because I keep telling myself in my head, I'm like, I could still read it if I don't put it on the TBR. So why don't I just put it on the TBR? You know what I mean? There's so much detail on this cover. It's so pretty. And there's another one out too, like the cinnamon bun one. I don't know what it's called, but I know it's, there's a cinnamon bun involved. I actually know nothing about this book either. Not shocking, but a uh, small town. This looks like it's going to be one of those cute Hallmark movie vibes. <sighs> and I think it's perfect, especially after some of this. We're going to need something cute and fun and refreshing. So I'm going to add the Pumpkin Spice Cafe to the TBR to round it out. I think that is perfect. So we have six books. We have Caraval, Little Woman, Six of Crows, Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, One Dark Window, and then the Pumpkin Spice Cafe. I'm very excited to read this TBR. I hope I read them all this month. I'm sure I will try my very best. Let me know if you've read any of these and what your thoughts were. I'm so excited to read them. And thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. And subscribe if you want to see more videos from me. And I'll see you very, very soon in my next video.